dear friends i want to ask you a question and that is how we start our today's video <laughs> yes guys so when this year started are you someone who told yourself that i must find a guy i must find a white man i must find the one this year before the year ends i must be in a relationship or even married may god help me are you that person if the answer is yes then today's video is going to be a story time <laughs> Yes, guys, this video is going to be a story time of a Ugandan lady by the name of Noreen who found love on online dating app within six days, guys, of joining a new dating app. <laughs> so, guys, when she came to me for the first time, she told me, Bella, I've been on online dating apps for quite some time. I've been facing lots of challenges. Until now, I have not found the one. But when this year started, I talked to God and prayed to him that I must find the one this year. So I believe it and I am so determined. Whatever it takes, no matter the challenges, I know I will find the one. Please give me some advice and guidances to help me out on my search. And guess what, guys? God is faithful. Noreen has found the one. I know this name might be familiar with you. If you have been following me on these stories that I share, I shared her story three months ago of the challenges black women go through on online dating apps. And you guys, after watching her story, you were like, Noreen, don't worry, you're going to find the one. Keep searching, don't give up. Yes, guys, she did not give up no matter the challenges noreen has found the one <laughs> and as we were talking i told her noreen keep on searching no matter the challenges just give it time and when you find the one we are going to pop some champagne <laughs> and yes guys i have my champagne here so today guys we are going to pop some champagne for noreen because <laughs> i'm very very happy for her i've been with her in her journey to find the one i know you know the struggles <laughs> that is why i'm so so happy today guys and here is my champagne so we are going to be listening to her online success love story while taking some champagne yes <laughs> let me open it guys noreen i know you are here watching our champagne is here <laughs> god is good guys god is good that was the part of the champagne and i know we are going to be popping more champagnes in this channel because <laughs> i know you guys will finally find the one just like the success stories that i have been sharing so without wasting much of your time guys let us jump into our story right now so friends like i said noreen is a ugandan lady 39 years of age and a single mother of one cute son yes guys i have said she found love on online dating apps but her journey wasn't an easy one apart from that story with albert but there is a lot more to that that i feel you guys should know because when you're on online dating apps you are searching and you are in a certain situation sometimes you come to feel like maybe it's only me maybe i am the problem maybe because i am a single mother that's why i'm not going to find anyone who will love me on online dating apps so that is why i always tell you the stories of where these people came from and this brings us to Noreen's past relationship love experience how was it like was she in a relationship with a ugandan guy because you can see she is a single mother let's find out guys 
So friends, yes, Noreen was in a relationship with a Ugandan guy. Everything was going super good. They were in love with each other. This guy used to promise Noreen lots of things. <laughs> you know, guys, when you're in a relationship with a guy, he will promise you a lot, a lot, guys, so that you keep on, you know, if you're giving the goodies, you keep giving him the goodies <laughs> because of the promises. But where we go wrong, guys, we don't wait for actions <laughs> that's a very big mistake we ladies always do when we are in a relationship with a guy so Nori never saw the actions of this guy but she believed him and even went ahead got pregnant for this guy when she was five months pregnant she came to discover that this guy had another lady and they had one kid she got very disappointed cried a lot but again this guy came talked to her and was like noreen i am so sorry but i don't love her it's you that i love so please let us continue with our relationship i want to be with you through all your journey of pregnancy and after that i'm going to marry you so don't worry don't even think of that woman she means nothing to me <laughs> oh man men can lie guys so noreen accepted and continued the relationship with this guy <laughs> even continued to give the goodies she tells us <laughs> because she was very very much in love with the guy so time went by and her pregnancy came to an end she gave birth to a cute baby boy she was very very happy but guess what on the day that she gave birth that guy was marrying another woman not even the other lady <laughs> that she had before no another woman so literally guys this guy had three ladies in his life can you imagine i did a video about east african men and these are the things i talked about so now we see the evidences guys it's not that i was just dreaming to say that ugandan men have got lots of ladies and some of them marry even more than one woman <laughs> yeah if you remember jackie's story the guy had three wives and wanted to make jackie a fourth wife now we see noreen's baby daddy had three ladies in his life noreen was so heartbroken it is a very very worst situation that a lady can find herself in so i can imagine the pain noreen had that day so guys after marrying another lady this guy came to noreen and tried to talk to her he was like noreen i still want you i still want to be with you so please don't even think that i married don't think of that just concentrate on the positive things i want to be with you just know that i love you <laughs> <laughs> and i want to take care of our baby so i'm going to be present because noreen was in love guys it was very very difficult for her to get out of that relationship because of love because when we fall in love we get blinded guys <laughs> with love <laughs> so they continued the relationship the guy could take the goodies until noreen's sister talked to her and was like noreen you should know your worth don't continue to sleep with this guy that got married to another lady and again he has got another lady if you remember the lady that i told you that he had before the one that he married oh my god this is confusing right <laughs> I don't even know how these guys manage <laughs> to handle all those relationships. So Noreen had to listen to her sister and she managed to move out of that relationship. When she stopped giving the goodies to the guy, then the guy also stopped taking care of Noreen and the kid so friends when this guy stopped taking care of noreen she went through economic crisis and remember she has a little baby to take care of so as a mother she was like i am going to do anything to make sure i take care of my son and that is when she got a friend who advised her 
to look for jobs in Dubai as a maid. And yes, guys, everything went well. Noreen applied and found a job in Dubai as a maid. She went to Dubai and then started working. She stayed there for two years. And as she was there, guys, met a guy from America. This guy was a black American, <laughs> but they couldn't be free in their relationship because remember guys Noreen was still a maid <laughs> so they had to stop that relationship it's not that they did not love each other no guys they were in love with each other but due to Noreen's situation they couldn't continue the relationship and after two years guys Noreen returned to Uganda and never wanted to return again to be a maid in Dubai but she had another new plan do you want to find out what that plan was if yes stick here but let us take a little bit of some champagne <laughs> So guys, Noreen's new plan after returning to Uganda was she wanted to find a husband but outside Uganda. She was done done with Ugandan men after all that experience that she had. She closed with Ugandan men and was like, I want to find a man outside Uganda. I must fly outside Uganda to find a husband. <laughs> Do you remember guys when I did a video recently of a guy who was like why should black women dream of getting married to white men? Is that even a dream? <laughs> so guys, Noreen wanted to fly outside of Uganda. It was her dream to find a husband. So what she did, she started looking for au pair jobs in America. <laughs> yes. This is something that I've learned from Noreen after chatting with her for almost six months. She's such a determined lady. When she wants something, she will do anything to make sure she gets it. Yes, that's Noreen. <laughs> so Noreen searched for au pair jobs in America. And guess what, guys? She found a family which was ready to give Noreen that au pair job to babysit their kids. So Noreen went through all the process, you know, the visa process, all the documents, everything guys she had money for the ticket because she had saved remember she was working as a maid in dubai so she did not have any problems of paying a ticket to america <laughs> and as she was going through that process communicated with that american boyfriend if you remember <laughs> the one that they met in dubai and ended the relationship due to that she wasn't free to date so communicated to him and told him that i am coming to america i found an au pair job there and this guy was so so happy told norin that i am going to send you some money so that you can add on your ticket <laughs> so norin was so happy over the moon she tells us that one day before she left met the father of her kid and then he started mocking her like oh my god you've gained so much weight you look ugly <laughs> and then she looked at him and was like i wish you could read my mind but i'm not going to tell you anything of what i am up to <laughs> told the sister that if the father of my kid come to ask you where i am how comes he doesn't see me these days just tell him that I went to Busia. <laughs> Don't tell him that I am in America. So it was a secret. So guys, everything went well. The day for Noreen to travel to America came and Noreen went. <laughs> but remember her plan is to find a husband outside Uganda. <laughs> How are things gonna be? Is it going to be very easy for her to find a husband because now she is in America? Oh, she's gonna struggle <laughs> to find the one. Let's continue, guys. So friends, when Noreen arrived in America, started working for a while, and then later on reunited with the boyfriend, the American boyfriend. <laughs> so this American boyfriend told Nori, I love you so much. I would like to live with you. Please just resign from that au pair job. Come stay with me at my place. I'm gonna find you a good job. <laughs> so Noreen listened to this boyfriend, left her job and went to live with this guy. So friends, you who are watching, I want you to write me in the comments below 
what do you think was it a good idea for Noreen to resign from her au pair job and go join this american guy oh it was a bad idea how are things gonna be when they start living together is he going to look for a job for Noreen just like he promised let's find out guys so friends, Noreen went to stay with this boyfriend and yes, he tried so hard that Noreen finds a job. She got a job and after getting the job, guess what this boyfriend did? <laughs> Afro cinema continues shortly. <laughs> oh my God. He resigned from his job. He was like, you're going to take care of everything. I was the one paying bills, paying rent. So now it's your turn. So this guy became a stay at home boyfriend. <laughs> you should be very, very careful, especially you who are in Africa, searching for men outside Africa. Some of these guys, it's not that they have good intentions with you. Some of them have got their own weird, weird thoughts. Just like this guy used to tell Noreen that you African ladies are so strong, you are so hard working, so you are going to work for me. <laughs> Can you imagine guys, this guy tricked Noreen to leave her job so that she can come and work for him, but she did not know about that. So we should be very, very careful. You don't leave your country, come to live with a guy and then you start working for him. It is a very, very bad thing that can happen to you. So be careful, be sure of the guy's intentions before you get married to him, before you move to his country. So guys, Guys, Noreen tells us that she suffered a lot with that guy because he was so evil. Noreen used to do like grocery shopping for a week. This guy could eat all the food within three days so that Noreen can return again and do grocery shopping. Sometimes I could cook for us before going to work and when I return, I find food is nowhere to be seen the guy has eaten all can we imagine guys how men can be so cruel they just want to use you they just want to eat all your sweat because <laughs> Noreen also told us that this guy was so good in bed in bed he was super <laughs> and taking the goodies <laughs> but when it comes to take care of the responsibilities he was not responsible at all only responsible in bed <laughs> and who wants such kind of a man no I don't want him either <laughs> so friends Noreen tolerated a lot with this black american guy and in the end guys she decided to contact her stepsister who was living in another state so this stepsister told her to go to her place and stay there just leave this man while looking for another job and that is how Noreen got out of that toxic relationship and from that day she told herself swear to god that i am not going to date ever again a black man not even a black african man not even a black american guy black men i am done like done done this is the same guy that i was telling you in my last video when I was helping her on online dating apps, I came across black guys. I told her, check them out. They look genuine. She was like, Bella, I don't want them. Now you know the reasons to why she was refusing black guys. <laughs> it was 2020. She had this friend of hers. Then one day this friend was like, oh my God, I didn't know you are single. You are very, very beautiful. I want to introduce to you a dating site called Plenty of Fish please join it you are going to find a guy there <laughs> so that you can get out of that being single situation <laughs> so Noreen was very very happy she didn't know about the dating apps have never joined online dating apps but because the friend recommended to her she was like why not i'm going to join <laughs> so guys she joined plenty of fish if you remember i recommended to you plenty of fish in one of my videos yes so she joined that plenty of fish and within one week guys she found a guy this guy seemed very very serious and told Noreen that my father is italian but my mother is american 
Noreen was so so happy because Noreen loves Italy so much. She's such kind of a lady who always dream of those romantic proposal at the beach, you know, those Italian beaches. <laughs> <laughs> all those romantic Italian weddings yes she's that girl <laughs> so when she found this guy on plenty of fish who had an Italian origin she was like thank you God you have answered my prayers he is the one so after chatting for a while this guy told Noreen I think we should exchange emails and communicate on email guys this was the red flag and you're going to find out as I continue with this story. Why was it a red flag? So they started emailing each other and this guy was sending sweet messages all day long, showering her with sweet messages. She was over the moon, told her sister, told her friends, they were all happy for her and she was waiting for that romantic proposal in Italy. <laughs> So guys, they continued chatting through email and as time went by, they decided to start talking of how they are going to meet. Then this guy was like, we should meet this weekend. Remember, they are all in America. <laughs> and then that same, same weekend that they were supposed to meet, this guy told Noreen, I cannot make it this weekend because I have to go to Egypt. There's some paperwork I need to do because my father left me inheritance and these things, the riches, <laughs> are in Egypt. But to get that, I have to go to Egypt, sign some papers, go through all that process and be able to get that inheritance that my father left to me. So Noreen tells us that it was that period of COVID. She got to worry and I was like, why can't you wait? till covid comes down the guy was like no i must go it is very very urgent and this is for our own good our future so that we can be okay we can live good so let me go and when i return we are going to meet so Lauren told the guy it's okay the guy went and after arriving there i started sending some photos of some papers to Noreen that I am preparing these papers I'm going through this process so Noreen was like it's okay and then the next day this guy called Noreen I was like you know what I've lost my wallet I've even lost my phone how are you communicating to me this guy was like I'm using internet desk to talk to you so Noreen was like I'm so sorry all this happened to you so what are you gonna do the guy was like I'm so confused because I need to pay the lawyer for those papers I told you that I was preparing and right now because I've lost my wallet and everything bank cards I don't know can you please help me send some money so that I can pay the lawyer but I will pay you back I promise I'm so embarrassed to ask you money you know our relationship is just starting i really didn't want this to happen <laughs> oh my god the words come as used so because noreen was new to the dating apps she was so naive poor lady accepted to send money to this guy after sending the money the guy was like thank you so much oh my god i love you so much i really appreciate you. you're so good you're so kind of course <laughs> after getting the money <laughs> oh my god noreen really went crazy because those were her savings so that is how she got scammed from plenty of fish and after being scammed she was like i'm done with dating apps so friends after all that incident of being scammed noreen took a break from plenty of fish so guys after noreen taking a break 2021 came and because i've told you noreen is such a determined lady a lady who will go for what she wants if she wants something she will make sure that she goes for it so noreen returned back to the dating apps and installed ok cupid started chatting with guys on ok cupid but again nothing good was happening she could log in a week then log out like that guys 
through the whole year of 2021 but did not find anyone on ok cupid so guys with this whole story of scamming you should be very very careful when you're chatting with a guy on online dating apps and then brings out money talks run run before it's too late for you because last time i was chatting with a girl and then this girl had a guy that they were you know getting to know each other on online dating apps this guy brought up a story of sending her a package to africa and in that package according to how he mentioned had a lot of expensive things had an iphone had gold watches gold earrings handbags and 10k dollars <laughs> <laughs> in the package <laughs> so i told this lady this is a scam because i am so experienced in these things so the lady was like what if the package arrives i told her yes they will call you tell you the package has arrived and when you pay the guy is gonna block you you will lose your money just like that and you will never receive any package because <laughs> come to think of it who will send you 10k dollars in a package <laughs> who will do that <laughs> guys you should also even you know try to reason and think of reality let's not keep ourselves dreaming <laughs> yeah so be very very careful guys i don't want you guys to be scammed please please money talks cancel move to the next <laughs> so guys year 2022 came so norin returned again to the dating apps and one day she was on youtube came across my youtube video i remember i was talking about the dating apps for black women <laughs> so after watching my video she followed me on instagram and told me bella i want your advice but for me i've talked to god i believe this year i will find the one i must find him so please help me out <laughs> with your advice and guidances and from there guys i started advising noreen she installed christian mingo dating app so friends because i was in the picture now in noreen's journey to search for love online she could update me on everything guys <laughs> so i remember she chatted with a guy this guy was living in a different state and when it came to meet this guy was like you're going to pay for your own hotel you are going to pay for your own ticket to come and visit me because you taking your time and go visit this guy to meet him it's a sacrifice him too is supposed to show some efforts towards knowing you and those efforts this guy was supposed let's say he does not want to pay for the hotel but at least pay for the ticket the flight ticket but this guy wasn't ready at all <laughs> i told her girl you go there he will take your goodies you have paid for everything and when you return back to the state you are living this guy is gonna block you so guys after that guy who did not want to spend anything on norin <laughs> she started chatting with another american guy by the name of albert guys i did a story about albert how it all went <laughs> if you want to know please i'll put a link here so that you can go and watch that story but it went really really bad to an extent i brought the story here so that you can learn from it norin did not give up kept on searching with my help i could give her advice guidances on everything she started chatting with another guy and this guy could always call norin when he is in shower norin used to call him shower guy <laughs> these guys play a lot guys if you're chatting with a guy on online dating apps and he always talks to you when he is in the shower you know that guy isn't serious at all just like i've been telling you if you see the guy is not genuine a guy is trying to play mind games cancel him move to the next <laughs> that's what norin did so friends after the shower guy norin started chatting with another guy and this guy was a recovering alcoholic who had a sick mother as the way he told norin is that his mother had cancer but guys 
that was only a trick you should be very very careful if you are on online dating apps you're chatting with a guy and then this guy immediately on the start of your communication he tells you he has got a sick mother or he has got a sick auntie just know that he's gonna be using that sick auntie or sick mother a lot to play games on you so be very very careful when he talks of that just stay on that alert mode <laughs> So Nori started chatting with this guy and this guy was so sweet. His words, oh my God, he could praise Norin all day long. I remember she told me that when they could do video calls, the guy could be like, can you please turn, turn? And when Norin turns, the guy is like, oh my God, woo! <laughs> I wish to be there with you. <laughs> The guy could salivate a lot on a video call. So this guy never had a sick mother. No, he was just those guys who will only want to talk with a lady online but never meet the lady. So guys, after that recovering alcoholic guy, oh my God, on online dating apps, you'll meet people of all kind. <laughs> So after this guy was out of Norin's life, because Norin was disappointed, she was like, Bella, right now I'm so disappointed about online dating apps. It's like, it's full of only fake people. Nothing is coming out of it. I've been there for two good years, but I keep on getting scammers. I keep on getting players. So right now I just want to concentrate on me, my job, and I also want to go back to school. So I told her, girl, that is a good idea because I've been telling you guys, if you feel exhausted, you feel tired about online dating apps, it's not a crime to take a break. Dating apps will always be there and I also advise you guys, put yourself out there. Don't put all your eggs in one basket because <laughs> if something happens, they'll all break and you will lose everything. So don't only depend on dating apps, put yourself out there. And that is what Noreen did. I also added, please give online dating apps time. Give it time. You will find the one. Guys have worked so hard with Noreen to encourage her all the time that she could face a heartbreak. She could run to me, guys. <laughs> We could chat for hours and hours and I was doing that because I wanted her to be happy to achieve her dream. So yes. guys, she took away her time from the dating apps and decided to concentrate on herself. But after talking to me, I told her, give it time. She got energy again, got inspired and went back to the dating apps installed a new dating app guys i am going to mention that dating app so that you can try it out but it's a very famous dating app guys and for me i used to hear it when i was in tanzania but people could just make fun of it you know like it's an app that you can't find a serious guy just like tinder yes so she joined that dating app guys online dating apps i'm telling you it needs heart you have to be strong girl <laughs> Yeah, the struggle is real. On her sixth day on that dating app, which was on 6th August this month, guys, <laughs> came another American guy by the name of Gerald. So guys, another thing I want to add on that day, on 6th of August, Noreen got COVID. So she was home, very sick with COVID, but still was chatting with some guys <laughs> on online dating apps and started chatting with Gerald. Gerald was so sweet, so kind. And after chatting for some hours, Gerald asked for Noreen's phone numbers and Noreen did not take long, gave her phone numbers to Gerald. Then Gerald started calling Noreen. They talked, she tells us that, they talked from three afternoon till three in the morning the next day. 
they were on the phone and Gerard refused to hang up because he was so scared because Noreen told him she was sick so he was like what if I hung up and something happens to her so I need to keep talking to her while she's doing other things you know eating so they stayed on the phone for that long guys talking and talking and talking <laughs> yeah but as they were talking Noreen told Gerard that if you're here for nude photos if you're here for online sex if you're here to waste time I am not that kind of a lady you are in the wrong place <laughs> you're chatting to a wrong woman then Gerard was like no I am far away from that I'm not that kind of a person and you will never hear me asking you such kind of things so just be at peace so guys in their first chatting as they were introducing each other Gerald told her that you know you have to tell each other stories of maybe the journey that you have been through on online dating apps how long have you been on online dating apps so Gerald told her that he was on that dating app for a month but he had put a location women next to him but nothing came by until he changed the location and put women from all over america that is when he came across noreen's profile yes guys <laughs> so they kept on talking every day guys and they started doing everything together guys what i've discovered is that love can make adults like all the people who are not teenagers <laughs> start behaving like teenagers like because these people started doing everything together on the phone they cook together watch movie together do laundry together clean the house together <laughs> this is so funny so i asked her how do you do that she was like bella we talk like right now i'm doing laundry he's like okay me too i am going to do laundry now right now let's clean okay i am cleaning too now <laughs> it's funny right yeah but that is how they have been doing things so they continue talking like that strengthening their relationship what i remember this guy also did a very crazy thing noreen sent him her photos and then he went printed those photos put those photos in the frames different frames then put them on the wall everywhere in his room <laughs> even before meeting her and when Noreen got better went and tested the results came out negative so she was no longer having covid then this guy started planning to come visit Noreen for the first time yes guys another thing about Gerald Gerald is one of those guys that I told you you are on online dating apps you should concentrate on those he is those desperate men that want to find love because a man who is desperate wanting to find true love when he finds the right woman he won't waste no time trust me dear beautiful ladies he won't be like i'm going to chat with you for two years or three years before i meet you no they are going to make everything fast 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 yes guys and that is how gerald was gerald was those men who are very desperate to find love so sometimes you can even judge him that he's so crazy he's moving things so fast but it's because he really wanted someone in his life so as he was planning to come Noreen was telling me everything but I told Noreen girl do not fall in love not yet <laughs> please make sure you see the actions we want the actions girl and when we see those actions we're gonna pop some champagne and that is why we are popping some champagne <laughs> yes so guys time for Gerald to go visit Noreen came he booked a flight and went to see Noreen for the first time and as i was talking to noreen she told me bella he did not stay at the hotel no i saw that there was no need for that because i was very sure gerald is the one i told him to come at my place and that is how it went when they saw each other she was so so happy over the moon and she tells us they clicked immediately <laughs> so he stayed at her place if you want to know if she gave the goodies <laughs> yes she did she gave her goodies she was very very ready to give her goodies she was at peace 
because she knew Gerald was the one because he was different from all these guys she was meeting on online dating apps and even outside the dating apps that is when you know a guy is real when he is different from all yes guys so he slept at her place and the next day he went to do some grocery shopping for her bought a lot of things even went to buy her hair product oh my god do you remember that albert who was making fun of african hair <laughs> <laughs> but Gerald is going to an African hair product store to buy products for Noreen's hair. <laughs> you see the difference, guys? <laughs> yeah. So he did grocery shopping, and after that, they went for dinner that evening, a very romantic dinner. The next day, the next day, he asked Noreen, Don't you have sisters or friends? I would like to meet some of them. And then that's when Noreen took Gerald to her stepsister, took Gerald to her friends, the one who were supporting her on her journey on online dating apps. It went very, very well. Everyone was very happy. He's so crazily in love with Noreen because he wanted to take Noreen with him when he goes back to his home. <laughs> he lives in New York. So he wanted to take Noreen with him to New York. But Noreen said, no, I have to find a job there first. We have to settle down some things before I move to your place. And she said that because she did not want to do same, same mistakes that she did in the past. Yeah, and after that, I also told Noreen, you should go visit Gerard's place so that you get to see his life before you even think of moving to his place because that is the right way. We cannot only believe in a guy by seeing them on our side no guys we should also go see on their side the life they live everything that they have been telling you if it is true you need to confirm so guys gerald visit was so so good the guy is so romantic the guy is so sweet the guy is so caring norin told us that he's such kind of a guy who will do anything in the house clean cook everything guys and even do some massage on her <laughs> When she says thank you, the guy is like, no, you don't need to thank me, you deserve it. Oh my god, it feels so good. <laughs> He's such a romantic guy, asked her, what kind of flowers do you like? Went and bought for her flowers. Do you remember Albert went to the airport to pick her without a single flower? Whereby Noreen paid for everything, for the hotel, for the flight, everything. Then he went empty handed. But with Gerald, we can see that this guy did grocery shopping all on his bill. This guy took her for dinner all on his bill. He even bought her flowers, showered her with gifts, spending on the lady that he really liked and that is how a serious man should behave <laughs> so guys his visit came to an end everyone was so happy for Noreen even the stepsister so Gerald and told Noreen this guy is a good guy so he returned to New York and after a week guys Noreen too had to fly to New York so that she can go and see Gerald's life when she arrived at the airport Gerald was there with flowers plus two important people in Gerald's life his sons <laughs> yeah Noreen was so happy they hugged and everything was you know good vibes only <laughs> they went home they welcomed her very very well she was treated like a queen guys that is what she tells us so guys on her second day at Gerald's place Gerald proposed in front of his sons. They were so happy, congratulated them. But for Noreen, she couldn't believe it. The only thing she could only cry and cry and cry. Yeah, tears of happiness, guys. When you go through a lot and be like, when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? When it happens, you are again like, oh my God, is it happening? <laughs> yeah, so that is what was going on in in Noreen's mind 
when Gerald proposed. So guys, she stayed there for four days because she had to go back to work because <laughs> she's a working lady. And before leaving, Gerald told her, I would like to redesign my house, but I want to design it on your own test so you should see when you are free again so that you can come and we start planning on how we are going to design our house so guys the day to leave arrived and gerald took noreen to the airport but they were all sad they hugged gerald told noreen please you should come back because the kids are waiting for you. We are going to miss you so, so, so much. So Noreen took a flight and returned back to her place. So guys, when she returned back to her place, they continued chatting and everything normal like they always do. Their plans is to get married December. And guys, I am so happy that they are planning to get married in Italy, just as Noreen used to dream because Gerard has got to an Italian origin. <laughs> and another thing, guys, this guy has given Noreen and even told Noreen, you can even share it with your friends, his Amazon account, <laughs> Netflix account, most of his accounts that he is the one who pays. So guys, just get ready to see their wedding because I will be at the wedding taking some videos for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that is how Noreen found the one within six days on that dating app. The question is, Bella, what kind of a dating app did they meet on? They met on Badu. This Badu, I've been hearing it when I was back home in Tanzania. People laughing, being like, people are just playing games on that app. It's not a serious app. But you can see, guys, Noreen found the one on Badu. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, girl, once again. So, dear friends, let us wish Noreen and Gerald best of luck. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> So guys, before I end this video, I just want to talk to you who is an online dating app searching for love. I know due to the challenges you're facing, sometimes you get that fear voice. Maybe you're not finding the one because you are in Africa and you're interested in white men. So you're like, most white men are interested in black women who live, let's say, in America, Europe, Canada, Australia. So that is why I won't find the one. But what I'm telling you, that is only the fear voice that is talking to you. Just ignore it. Yes. And some other ladies, I know you are on online dating apps, living in the same countries, looking for men in those same countries that you stay, but you're facing lots of challenges when you see success stories of white guys who go to Africa or go to Jamaica to take black women, you're like, these white men are only interested in African ladies that are from Africa or from Jamaica or outside that country. What I'm telling you, it's only a fear voice. You can find the one no matter where you are coming from, no matter where you are, no matter you are a single mother, no matter you are a widow. I've been telling you this, guys. So ignore that fear voice that is giving you fears and be like, I won't find the one. You are going to find the one believe it and it's gonna happen so guys quickly noreen's advice to you ladies that are still searching on online dating apps because for her she has uninstalled all dating apps she had 15 dating apps <laughs> Cause she has found the one so she's telling you ladies to not give up on yourself don't give up no matter the challenges yes the struggle is real but if you believe it you can achieve it keep on searching and keep on praying to god that you achieve your dream you find the right one this is my hope you enjoyed this video and learned something i know my stories can be long but I also hope you enjoy them. <laughs> if you have liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this story and learn something. 
please comment below what you think about this story i would like to know watch my other videos too they are super good you will learn a lot trust me guys <laughs> please if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao